Good evening, I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jackie Parks. Well, they sound like something you keep around the house to give you a nice, relaxing night in the bathtub. But bath salts are also the name of a dangerous designer drug. And now, one Kern County city is taking a stand against them. 23 ABC Stephen Hicks is here now with more on what their plan is. Stephen? Yeah, that's right, Jackie. These bath salts aren't something you'll find in a bath and body works. Instead, they're hallucinogens found in small smoke shops. And finally, the city of Taft has had enough. There's a loophole in state and federal law when it comes to the selling of bath salts and spices. And the Taft City Council has had enough. There's nobody in here uh, who can in the right mind and honestly tell us that these things have any other purpose besides exactly what they're used for is to get high. They're really designer drugs named from when dealers would disguise it in the packaging of true bath salts. Bath salts are kind of a misnomer. It's really basically synthetic drugs that have no regulation on it and they're selling it to minors. Taft Police says the drugs are a danger to the community, causing users hallucinations, psychosis, and suicidal or homicidal thoughts. They're just, quite frankly, a danger not only to themselves but to the general public. We don't know what they'll do. What they do is unpredictable sometimes. Um, and we have been very fortunate so far that nobody has died from it and nobody's been killed from it. While police say they're hamstrung by the current laws, it's not something consumers should ever stumble into buying. You have to go out and look for it. It's not readily available. You have to ask for it. And they have to know you. They just won't sell to anybody. During tonight's city council meeting, Taft's chief of police said, without naming any names, three local businesses are currently selling bath salts, something this ordinance would eliminate. We just want to get the scourge of it out of the city of Taft, and um, we hope that uh, we will set a precedent for other cities too. The proposed penalties for selling bath salts increase from $100 to $1,000 and ultimately lead to a business having their license revoked. And those at this uh, council meeting said this ordinance has been a long time coming for the city of Taft, and once it actually passes at the next hearing, will be just another tool to help local police. Jackie?